Hey guys, welcome to Pajama Mama's Kitchen and More. Um, today I have an unboxing of a stove, um, five quart um, oven, Dutch oven. So let me show you. I've already opened it, but I said let me show them. Um, so it just it came in this big box, and then it's in another box, and it has um, some bubble wrap or, uh, bubble wrap around it. And let me take this box out of here. Okay, guys, and then see it, it had a um, little indentations right here, and you just kind of open it up. And here is the top. I got a white, a white five quart. There you go. Look at that. And let's get the this out of here. And I do have the, uh, I have the four quart. Let me check this out. Move this out the way. I have a four quart and I have a 3.5 brazier. And my husband was in North Carolina last week. And he had went, to, he went, to, he went to, uh, Williams and Sonoma and got this for me and had it shipped. So that's what that looks like. You guys see? Hold on. And these little things right here, that just keeps it from banging up against each other. I keep those um, when I'm storing it on my shelf over there. Let's see. Uh, so it doesn't kind of clink together. Let me let you guys see the inside. I had a little bit of debris from the cardboard. But you guys see, it has the, uh, it's all um, enamel cast iron. Even that has been fired. Uh. Okay. And this one comes with, um, like I said, the lid and it has the self basting lid. And I'm gonna show you the other ones, the other four quarts so you guys can see the difference in the size. Let me get this over here. And my four quart actually has the glass lid. And you guys know when you buy, you, you get it a little bit cheaper when you get the glass lid. But I wanted one with the um, the cast iron lid, and he got me that. And so you see how that's a little bit bigger. So that's four. This is five. Let me show you guys the three point five. Let me move this candle out the way. Let's put this one back here. And this is my move. Now that's the three point. Okay, hold on, you guys. There you go. This is the three point five brazier. Now I've had this one for a while. I've had. I got this one's the first one I got, and this was. Uh, I got this probably about a couple years ago, maybe two years ago. But I use it, and, and I make sure I clean it after every wash. Still looks pretty good. I love it. It's my favorite brazier because I like the how, how wide it is and how deep. And then let me show you this this one right here. This is my four quart that I use in a lot of soups. But um, so I was going to make some soup today, so I probably I'm going to try that one out. But yeah, this has served me well. I think I got this one. Was it a year ago? I don't know. You guys can look if you look at um, some of my videos. It'll show you when I got it. It's, it's been over a year, maybe a year and a half. And I use this one quite a bit. And I just make sure I clean it. And if it gets a little stain on there, I just take a little barkeeper's friend or some paste, uh, power paste, and it comes right out. It cleans up really good. And you don't have to. I always kind of put a little grapeseed oil on it and oil it. Um, you don't have to, but that's just what I do. And like I said, this came from Williams Sonoma. They have a sale right now. I will link it down below because for this one, um, they're running about three hundred and something. Um, but when you get them on sale, you can get a. I don't know exactly how much it is. Three something. Some people sell them for four hundred and something because they have the uh, four point seven five and they have the six quart. And but I told them I wanted the five quart because I do have a seven quart. 
in my less expensive cast iron and that's my Tramatino, the white one. I do have a video on that. But I don't use the seven quart as much. You know, the ones I really use, I use this one all the time and this one. These are the sizes I use. So I wanted something a little bit bigger and that is this one. And so I will put a link um, to a couple of the places that I've seen. Now, now I think he got it um, on sale. If they still have the sale, he got it for $149.99, which is amazing. Okay, and then it was free shipping and everything. All together was like $165, but it was free shipping and everything. Um, so try to find it on sale. So if I could find it on, t I will link the uh, Williams, William and Sonoma um, uh, website. And then if I, I know, I, I know they have it on um, Amazon, but it's not on sale. And um, I'll look at the Hinkle. I'll look at a couple of sites and I'll link them to see which one. And I'll tell you, I'll put down in the description how much everything is. But I really like it. Look at that, you guys. I really wanted this lid. Um, because of the uh, the tight fitting, so you can you can bake bread in this, um, roast a chicken in it. I mean, I roast chicken in there and stuff too. But I love this lid. I wanted this lid, but it's very heavy. Now it's not uh, lightweight at all. Hold on, let me see if I can get my scale and see how much how much it weighs. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, um, we have to look it up. So this is coming in at eleven point four six pounds. So almost 11 and a half pounds like i said it's really really heavy and um but these do amazing in baking breads and stuff i mean i just i'm really happy that i got this one i don't i he was gonna get me one i think he said it was a maroon color and i didn't want the maroon color but the color i always tell him get the white but the ones i want i want a burnt orange and this really pretty emerald green one um in a different size um, maybe a six quart and we were he was just looking at a four quart but I already got a four quart right there but anyway it also comes with a manual this little man all of all all of your um so because I have quite a few of these all of your um um pieces they come with this book and it kind of shows you like the different things you can get you know and it kind of tells you a little bit about the history or whatever there is a few things that I want I think I want that grill pan. And I have some of these. Um, they're no name brand though, but I have never, excuse me, I have four of them. I have never used them. So I don't think I'll get any of those, the little ones. You see? And I have, uh, you know, I have a few uh, Le Creuset pieces also. So I go in between the Le Creuset and the stove. And I usually like the Le Creuset for the beauty. I mean, it functions well too, but I like this better for function, especially with like um, searing and red sauces. I try in my Le Creuset pieces, since the inside of them are white, I try not to cook a lot of things with acid in those. And I I uh, reserve that to make anything with acid and red sauces and stuff I use my stove for. So that's my unboxing and my show and tell. On my five quart, um, how do you say this? Croquette, croquette. And so, you guys are gonna see me cooking in this one. Um, you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Bye.